John, we're here on Andrews Field. Uh, they're starting to set up Corwin Stadium to get ready for your guys' football season. Uh, as a team, you guys are finishing up your off-season workout. How are you guys feeling at this point? Oh, we feel good, definitely. We feel very ready for the season. We feel very prepared. As we've been discussing, you've been abroad mm -hmm. for the last several weeks, and in terms of the off-season workout, the f summer before your season, right. very important. Right. Was there any hesitation or extra thought into accepting this internship, knowing you would be away from your gym, from the other players for such a long time? Well, there was, there was really no hesitation on my part. I was always very confident in my abilities to make a workout out of nothing, even if, you know, if there were no weights, if there were no gyms. I was very confident that I could do something, something to prepare myself for the season. And as it turns out, we were able to find a gym. You found a gym while you were there. Yes. Uh, what was it like? In well, it was... Uh, it was very, uh, very self-created, I guess. It was, there were no machines that you'd see around here. It was all, basically we were lifting old car parts. And so those would be the, uh, those would be the weights that you'd put at the end of the barbell. And, but uh, it worked. It, it worked for our purposes. You know, we were able to do the squat and the bench press and uh, shoulder press, every, everything we really needed to do. And so that was, that was awesome. I was wondering, you also took advantage of the natural surroundings. Right. Uh, you worked out, out down on the beach. Yes. I was wondering, what was that like for you? Well, that was amazing because it was really beautiful. You know, down at the beach, it's, it's fantastic. You get great views, great breeze. Um, but it was also very difficult because running on the beach is, of course, much, more, much harder than running on grass or turf. So it was fun and, and really picturesque at the same time. Yeah, I bet. I've done a few workouts on the beach in my own travels, and it is beautiful, but I tell you, my calves are killing they really, yeah. at the end of the workout. It's they really do it. Working out on the beachfront, yep. was that of the Gambia River? No, actually that was right where the Gambia River meets the Atlantic Ocean, so it was more salt water than fresh water actually. So it, it, was, uh, it was, you were able to swim in it after you, after you ran, which is nice. All right. Yeah, now uh, for those of us, I guess, who haven't traveled abroad, mm -hmm. was there any restrictions or health concerns about swimming in uh, the water? I know probably drinking water, but... Right. Well, you, I was advised against swimming in fresh water. You can get a lot of different, uh, a lot of different diseases through, mm -hmm. uh, through fresh water, such as leishmaniasis, which is really bad. So, I, we pretty much stayed away from uh, from fresh water and only swam in salt water. I see. And uh, I guess on one of your uh, relaxation days, mm -hmm. you guys went down to the beach and went for a swim, mm -hmm. and uh, you had your own kind of Shark Week moment for a <laughs> I bit, did. I suppose. What uh, happened there? So I was, uh, I was in the ocean. All the other members of my team were up at the. Uh, up at the lodge and uh, or the hotel, and so I was just body surfing in the waves because in Connecticut you don't get waves, so it's amazing to me to see waves. And all of a sudden, this big dark shape just swims in between me and these two Dutch guys, and they point to it and their eyes get big, and they're like, "Ooh!" And so I just sprint out of the water. I was I was out of there so quick. I didn't want to deal with that. It scared the crap out of me. No thanks. <laughs> We discussed earlier, you're going to be a captain for the upcoming right. football season. I was wondering, have your experiences playing football and in team sports, did that impact you or help you at all in your internship abroad? Well, definitely. I think, I think uh, you know, playing football, you have to be mentally tough and you have to be physically tough. And both those things were definitely necessary uh, being abroad. Mentally toughness, you know, uh, you just, you got to adapt, adapt to new situations that come up and physically tough, you know, it's really hot over there, and you just you just got to deal with it. Yeah, you say uh, being able to adapt. You no, know, when you were there, they play a they play a different type of football than we're used to here <laughs> yeah. in the states. And you got an opportunity to join in on some pickup games. Yeah, I was wondering what was that experience like for you? Well, that was awesome. We uh, we played some. They, they're crazy about soccer over there. First of all, they love it, and so we played a little bit of soccer with uh, one of the guys who plays on the U20 team in Gambia, and so. His main goal was just to keep feeding us the ball and trying to get us to score a goal. So eventually, I, uh, I connected on one with my left foot and sent it through, and, uh, and that was really exciting. I haven't scored a goal since I played when I was maybe five or six. So that was, that was a lot of fun. Uh, yeah, so his job was kind of try to make you look good while you were out there. Huh? Right. <laughs> What's up, Eve? How you doing, cool, man? How you doing? John, we've been talking about your physical preparations for right. the upcoming season while you were abroad. Right. Uh, but as you just said, mental toughness is a key component it is, of football yeah. as well. 
right. wondering, while you were abroad, yeah. did your experiences, do you think they'll help you for the upcoming year in terms of dealing with uh, adversity and uh, new challenges? Oh, well, surely. I mean, anytime you, you face adversity and you can overcome it, I think that's a positive thing. And, and overcoming adversity is something you can really translate into anything, especially football. You know, you're down, they just completed a long play, you know, something happens in the game that you don't like, you, you have to forget about it and you have to move on. And so I think this experience definitely helped with increasing my mental capacity. This is like a little West Korea game thing. Yeah. All right, come on down with me, we'll All right. While you were abroad, this mm -hmm. summer, there was a wide array of sports spectacles going on right. in the world. We had the Euro Championships yep. for soccer, the Olympics just finished up. I was wondering, being an American and in a different country, right. what was it like taking in those events? Well, they're crazy about sports there, and most notably soccer. So when the Euro Championship was going off, there was so much cacophony in the house, and everyone's going at it and saying, no, Italy's going to win, no, Spain's going to win, and of course Spain won in the landslide. But uh, Watching the Olympics was also really fun. We'd go to a restaurant just down the street, and uh, the, it wasn't in English. It was in maybe Russian. I really didn't understand the language, but it was nice when they, uh, they had the opening ceremony and the Gambians walked out. It was a big cheers from everyone, and we were cheering too, and it was, it was a really nice experience that was, yeah. Yeah, it's got to be amazing getting a sense of the national pride from right. a different perspective yes. than what we're used to here in the States. Right. And even watching you know, the Americans come out it just made me even more proud to like be an American, you know, watching watching my countrymen walk out. John, we've made our way to the practice fields mm -hmm. for a football team. Wondering, do you think uh, experiencing the heat in the Gambia has prepared you at all for this upcoming preseason and getting back out on the fields? Well, I certainly hope so. You know, I've put in a lot of work this off season, and and we can only see when preseason comes around. But I. I definitely feel ready, and uh, I'm really excited. Yeah, I just got uh, one final question for you. Yeah. No, uh, you were abroad. You had uh, quite the heart-thumping experience. I was wondering, what's more terrifying, or what was more terrifying? Seeing a big, like, 6'2 middle linebacker barreling down on you for kickoff return, mm -hmm. or reaching out and, uh, I guess, petting a crocodile? Well, well that's a tough question, but the... Uh, the crocodile was tame and well-fed and pretty lazy. And last time I checked, middle linebackers coming down at you are not so lazy. So I have to say, kickoff return is definitely scarier. <laughs> there you go. John, it's uh, been great hearing about your experiences this summer. And I uh, want to wish you the best of luck for your upcoming football season. And we'll see you around. Thanks. It's been my pleasure.